Hey guys, I'm Pastor Lynn Hansen, one of the pastors at North Park Church, and glad to be sharing with you in our life groups this week. Guys, we're talking about, uh, you know, evil and, and how God delivers us from that evil. And this week we've been talking about uh, the limitations of evil. You know, um, when Jesus talked about uh, prayer, he said there are about six things that we need to focus on in, in prayer. And one of those things is that we need to pray about deliverance from evil. It's real uh, and, and it, it, it stems from a person, the, an individual, deliver us from the evil one. And so we need to know that, that God really says we do have this sworn enemy that's coming after us. But that evil does have limitations as well. It is under God's sovereign control. And so uh, we're going to talk about that a little bit more in our life groups this week. And I uh, want you to really pray and have a good time, but enjoy what it is that God wants to teach you, especially today. Uh, looking at John chapter 13, verses 18 to 30, I'm going to read you a story. And I want to ask you to listen very carefully to this story because somebody at the end of it then is going to retell as best they can from memory this story. And then the rest of your group is going to add in what it is you might have missed as you retold the story. And we're going to get this story in our hearts and our minds. We're going to understand a little bit more about it. Then we'll have some discussion questions as we have it in our hearts and minds. So here we go. Here's the story. I want you to know up front that uh, this is Jesus sitting at the the Lord's Supper table uh, just before he's arrested and goes to uh, be crucified, to tor be tortured and crucified. And uh, so he's sitting there at the table enjoying this last meal with the Passover meal with his disciples. Jesus said, I'm not saying these things to all of you. I know the ones I have chosen, but this fulfills the scripture that says the one who eats my food has turned against me. I tell you this beforehand so that when it happens, you will believe that I am the Messiah. I tell you the truth, anyone who welcomes my messenger is welcoming me, and anyone who welcomes me is wel welcoming the Father who sent me. Now Jesus was deeply troubled, and he exclaimed, I tell you the truth, one of you will betray me. The disciples looked at each other, wondering whom he could mean. The disciple Jesus loved was sitting next to Jesus at the table. Simon Peter motioned to him to ask, who's he, ta who's he talking about? So that disciple leaned over to Jesus and asked, Lord, who is it? Jesus responded, It is the one to whom I give the bread I dip in the bowl. And when he had dipped it, he gave it to Judas, son of Simon Iscariot. When Judas had eaten the bread, Satan entered into him. Then Jesus told him, hurry and do what you're going to do. None of the others at the table knew what Jesus meant. Since Judas was their treasurer, some thought Jesus was telling him to go and pay for food, uh, pay for the food or give some money to the poor. So Judas left at once, going out into the night. All right, like we talked about earlier, go ahead, somebody just uh, jump up and, and step up, I guess, and, and Retell that story as best you can from memory, and afterward, everybody else uh, add in what they might have missed. Go ahead and do that now, please. All right, guys, well, uh, let's talk about some discussion questions. Number one, have you ever had what you would call a personal battle with Satan? Have you ever had what you would call a personal battle with Satan? Go ahead and uh, talk that over, please. All right, question number two, looking carefully at our story, who was in control here? So you look at the story, pray about it a moment, let God speak to you and tell you what the truth is about this. Now, who was in control? In this, during and in this story. Discuss the reasons for your answer as well. Go ahead and talk about that, please. All right, question number three. What 
purpose did Satan, or evil, what purpose did evil serve in our story? Pray about that a moment, think about it, let the Holy Spirit guide you. What purpose, what sovereign purpose did evil serve in our story? Go ahead and talk that over, would you please? Question number four, we're going to take this down to a personal level. Here we go. Um, you're going to really want God to be able to speak to you, so clear your mind and, and ask Him to help you understand now. How has God allowed something evil into your life and then used it for His glory in your life? Used it for good in your life? Okay, that's part of the question. Now looking back, in what ways can you see that evil was totally under God's control in that situation? As you do that, guys, I want to ask you, you know, try hard now, pray hard, not to war story or to, to glorify yourself uh, or to get attention through what it is that you're talking about, but make God God here, you know? It, make this about Him and about what it is that He accomplishes in a person's life, okay? Go ahead and discuss question number four. All right, and question number five then is our, our walk away question, our takeaway question. You know, what is it that God wants you to get from your life group this week? What is it that God wants you to walk away with the big picture? What, what is the, the, the big idea that God wants you to walk away with? Make sure you get a hold of this, get it in your heart, get it in your mind, get a hold of what it is that God wants you to have. Um, pray, understand that from your life group this week so that you can carry it with you and grow on it, okay? Well, God bless you guys. Uh, have the rest of a great life group, and I'll see you soon.